Hi, it's Mitz. I hope you are doing well. I received this package recently and I thought I would do an unboxing video with you here. I won't be reviewing every single item in the package, but I wanted to share with you what the new collaboration Traveler's Notebook from Traveler's Company looks like. So here I am opening the box and you might see a sneak peek of some of the items, other items that I ordered uh, when I open up this box. But uh, yes, so if you are interested in me, if you want me to review a more in-depth look at the actual 10 notebooks, 10 colors, uh, please let me know down below. These are for some friends, so I did not open them up, but um, Yes, if you are interested, please let me know and I will take a look. Okay, so here is the 15th anniversary Traveler's Notebook with the Taiwan Beer collaboration. I did purchase some other uh, non-collaboration -collaborate items as well for my diary, uh, such as the sleeve, the plastic sleeve, as well as the calendar and some stickers and I will show you a little a little bit later on the actual Taiwan beer charm as well. Here's a quick flip through of the newsletter that you receive. I think it's the Tai uh, sorry the Travelers Company USA. They also have an online shop and if you make a purchase online they will also ship out these newsletters. I assume that they're in English as well. Uh, this one in particular is not, but uh, yeah, I believe there are some English versions available as well. And if you order directly from the Traveler's Company website in the USA, you will receive the newsletter if they have it in stock. So let's get right into opening up the Taiwan Beer Collaboration. This is This comes in one color and it comes in the camel color. There is a notification seal on the bottom uh, in the front you'll see like a little sticker that says camel and then once again there is this uh, plastic sleeve that covers the cardboard sleeve and that protects the leather traveler's notebook from you know getting bent or something in, in the within transit this is what the inside includes it includes a blank notebook insert as well as a separate elastic an extra elastic and sometimes the elastic is different color it really depends on the collaboration um, but you'll see what color it is when I open up the box so there's the label I tend to keep the labels I have this tendency to keep the newsletters as well as the labels the elastic um, actually if you count the elastic that actually closes the cardboard box then there's three elastics in total and unfortunately they're all green <laughs> they're all of the same uh, color which is like a dark green color so there's the elastic on the cardboard box and then this extra elastic and then the actual elastic that's on the traveler's notebook so if you think about that there's three in total uh, so let's take it out of the cotton bag and see what it looks like. So here it is. You can see it's the camel color and it's very soft, uh, almost like a suede type of material. This is what the gold uh, foiling looks like on the front. It's hard to express or explain to the gold. It's not too yellow gold, if that makes sense. It's not too harsh on the eyes. It's a very soft type of gold. And now that I uh, look back, I feel like I should have brought my uh, Tokyo train station one to kind of compare it to. Uh, but this is the insert that's included. I really liked these raised spots of the insert. Oh, what is it called? There's a special crafting terminology. Oh, I think it's called embossing where it's a little bit raised. It's very, very nicely thought out. Sorry, I had to restart the camera because I lost uh, some memory or I, uh, I had to unload some memory. So here is the front part of the insert and it's, uh, like I said, it's the, the embossing is really neat. It looks like a glass uh, bottle 
and this is the title page and sorry once again I had to skip um, here it is side by side with a brown travelers company travelers notebook so that you can see the color difference between a camo and a brown color because the brown has been used for quite some time there is a bit of patina and shine whereas this camo, camo is brand new and you can see that it's quite matte and this is what the inside looks like and I'm going to show you side by side what the brown one looks like on the inside. I know some people don't like this suede type of uh, the camel. Uh, for me it's very soft and it's a nice tactile experience for me. It's, it's a nice, um, it's not too suede if that makes any sense. <laughs> it's just um, soft enough for me to really enjoy it. And here it is also in comparison to the Hoshino Resort one which is also a camo but it's been used for quite some time I want to say over a year for sure um, so you can see they're side by side it doesn't look very different on camera um, but it is slightly uh, different in color especially when you open up the inside you can see the color difference but the one on the left hand side the Hoshino one you can um, I'll, I'll show you later on the patina that it's developed and uh, it, it started off the same way with like a total matte. You can see there a little bit the shine that's, it's, uh, that it has developed over time. So I assume that it will be the same with this brand new one as well. I know that for some users the gold foiling um, actually comes off or peels off a little bit. If you check out Jane the Crazy, she actually has a Tokyo train station TN where the gold foiling has totally rubbed off and you can definitely see in her feed that she's uh, she uses and abuses her TNs she's not very uh, delicate with them and I absolutely love that and uh, she's got a lot of great content so I uh, definitely recommend her as well and so this is the close-up of the insert I like I said I really enjoy this embossing of it it looks really nice I'm not an alcohol drinker. I don't drink any alcohol at all, but I just, uh, I, I really liked this, uh, the 15th edition uh, Traveler's Notebook. And I thought it was really nice, so I wanted to pick that up for my collection. And here is the charm, or this is actually a charm set, so it comes with two charms. It's very, very cute. And then this, uh, on the left-hand side, you see are some other items that I picked up. And that's it for now. I, I hesitate, like I say, to share my hauls, but if this is on the market or if this is something that you are thinking of purchasing, I wanted to put it out there so that you can make an informed decision, um, you know, if this is something that you want or you want to pass or... Anyways, I'll leave it at that. I will finish this with a little snippet. My daughter's always beside me journaling along. And here she's just working on something in her journal. She's drawing um, Momotaro, which is like a famous Japanese folk tale. And it's where a baby pops through a peach. <laughs> this elderly couple finds a peach uh, flowing through the river and a baby pops out. <laughs> Anyways, thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate you. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.